Well, sometimes here the total energy did change, right? Because you defined a system here that's just the weights. So, and then Zoe added in energy into that weight and earth system, right? So, so again, what's going to happen then is that whatever initial you have plus whatever gets added into the system equals the final situation. And so that's this power of, of energy conservation allows us to do all kinds of really cool things. Um, Chemical energy. Chemical energy. I agree, actually. So I just put these in as, as placeholders. And you may, in some of these cases, need to add additional, you know, places for bars, or you aren't going to need them for some of them. So, so yeah, it's just a template, and so you, you adjust it as, as possible. Okay, so we can add more. Right. That's interesting. It seems it's it's hard to fathom that she has so much energy to use in herself, right? To lift something that's you know comparably heavy to her own body weight, right? Or twi yeah, twice, twice her body weight. That's all stored in herself. That amount of energy is just stored in herself. That's kind or of someone who runs a marathon, yeah, to run that far with just the energy stored in. So yeah, exactly. it, it gives you a sense too. There's a huge difference between how big this bar. If we really did it quantitatively, a scale, how big, say, a gravitational energy energy bar is compared to a chemical energy bar. They'd be wildly different in size. We're not worried about that. All right. Um, so, okay, so position.